Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Seasonic M12 Modular 700 Watt Power Supply. What's included is a user's manual, a case badge, four screws for mounting the power supply in the case, a power cable, modular leads, and the power supply. This power supply is available in three different wattages, 500, 600, and 700. I'm reviewing the 700 watt model, which is enough power for most high-end computer systems. Now, how is this wattage determined? Well, to understand that, you need to know what rails are. Rails are basically well-regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use and they're essentially two different rails the 3.3 slash 5 volt and the 12 volt. In this particular case the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 170 watts and the 12 volt is 648 watts which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. The 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards, AGP card, and so on, while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, DVD, CD-ROM, fans, etc. Also, some might be interested to know the peak amps on each rail. The plus 3.3 volt is 24 amps, and the plus 5 volt is 30 amps. Now, unlike most power supplies that only have one plus 12 volt rail, this model has four and they are all 18 amps. This ATX 12 volt power supply meets all the new environmental standards, today's latest testing procedures and protection. And there are a couple of important factors to note when purchasing a power supply and that's its efficiency and does it have active PFC. It's recommended to get a power supply that's about 80% efficient or better under typical load. This model has an efficiency that exceeds 80%. As for APFC or active power factor correction, this is something that assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. This product has active PFC. Let's have a closer look at the power supply. Here's the power cable connection and the power switch. It has a black paint finish and comes with a large 120 millimeter fan. This fan and the many ventilation holes will have no problem keeping the inside of the power supply cool. This power supply also has a small temperature controlled 60 millimeter fan which rotates only when required for added cooling power. This power supply has lots of leads and most are modular except for the main 2024 pin, 8 pin and 4 pin which are sleeved. The modular cables which are also sleeved will cut down on the cable mess inside the case and improve airflow. These modular leads are simple to connect and disconnect. Therefore, you only need to attach the leads required for your particular hardware setup. The modular leads have easy grip connectors, which make connecting and disconnecting hardware simple. Finally, have a listen to the fan. This power supply performs very well, has a quiet 120 millimeter fan and another fan if it's required. Now this is a modular power supply, although remember that the main 2024 pin, 8 pin and 4 pin are still connected directly to the power supply and are not modular. 
Modular power supplies like this, though, give you the freedom of selecting only the leads that you need and therefore freeing up a lot of cable mess inside the case and increasing airflow inside the case. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Wernos. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please remember to help support 3dgameman.com. If you wish to support, please visit support 3gm.com until next time take care and 700 i'm reviewing the 700 watt model ladle little or ladle which leads only you require you 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 fantastic freedom fantastic freedom you need for your particular setup so you if you don't if you don't have a do it like